Hey guys, what's up? This is Greg Srizvasti, owner of the website Deepest Dream and co-host of Cinematics, Movie Mainline, and Matt and Greg used to interview movie stars. I am horrible at webcams because this is the first time I've ever actually done it. So I apologize for the weird placement of my mic. I don't even know if that's right. I don't know what I'm doing. But with this channel, you're going to get a lot of movie interviews and some TV interviews as well. A lot of the stuff I want to focus on is a is filmmakers and actors and it's hopefully screenwriters down the road talking about their favorite films. I, I like to call it Flick City. I do a little Flick City mini pod for cinematics, but a lot of the content will also be found here, will be housed here on Deepest Dream YouTube channel. Sorry for all the stuttering and everything like that. That's just the way I am. But for this portion, this for this vid, here is Essie Davis talking about her love for Lars von Trier's Breaking the Waves and Dancer in the Dark. I've never seen Dancer in the Dark. I hear it's a great film. I, I And Bjork is an, a musician, singer, songwriter. I definitely should love more. One of these days I'll, I'll get into her work. But would love to know if you guys have seen Dancer in the Dark or, or what are some of your favorite Lars von Trier films. Also, maybe what are some of your Essie Davis, favorite Essie Davis films? Do you love The Babadook? Do you love Miss, Crip, Miss Fisher and the Crypt of Tears, which just came out? Or And have you seen her in True History of the Kelly Gang, a film I really, really love. Four stars out of five for me. It's directed by her husband, Justin Kurzel. It's out now on digital and cable VOD platforms. So here is a little bit of a, a partial uh, partial interview I did with Essie Davis talking about Lars von Trier's movies. And also this it has this really cool inspirational clip that I want to actually spoil and read for you right now. And this is what you're going to hear in the audio. She says here, she wants to Work hard with love and passion and make it better. Meaning the films, making films and making it better. She wants to be bolder, aim higher, strive harder. So that's pretty, ins- I, that's, she's really well-spoken, not like me. And hopefully one day I'll be be bolder and striving harder. I still have a ways to go. Essie does not, if, especially if you've seen her in The Baba Duke. She's, she's amazing in that film. And she's amazing also in True History of the Kelly Gang. So without further ado, here's Essie Davis talking about the Lars von Trier films and aiming higher, striving harder, and all the beautiful stuff. The rest of the full interview with Essie Davis is can be found if you are a member of our Cinematics Patreon community. So I'll, I'll give all that stuff in, uh, in the show notes. Please like this youtube account i'm trying to learn how to do this so maybe you can help me and we can help each other as well and i want to provide as much audio and video content in the realm of cinema and sometimes tv as well for you guys to consume all right guys take care have a great day and apologize for this nascent first webcam horrific video introduction to se davis all right bye you go from true history to to shooting in morocco with miss Fisher and the Crypt of Tears. You're you're producing the project. You're you're acting in it. Where do you find the energy? Is it, it do you find the energy in the fact that you're actually doing great work and and with w- regarding the Miss Fisher stuff that that just legions of fans really love the world that you've created within the series and as well with the movie. I think certainly. I mean, Fanny Fisher is such a joyous and energetic character within herself. She she's like the kind of the vivaciousness with which she lives life is kind of infectious and and it does it's all exhausting it's all hard work (laughs) but but you just I mean when there is joy in creation and I think the more you put into something quite often the more you get out of it and in in everything in everything that you do in life if you really committed and pour yourself into something it it's, it's, it gives you great energy and satisfaction in the creation of it. And creating itself is a, like a life force. So you just get inspired to make things better and better and better. And that's my endeavor is always to raise the bar and just try and inspire everyone to work hard with love and passion and make it better, be bolder, aim higher, strive harder. <laughs> yeah. Very quickly, I know, um, I'm assuming you're a cinephile, Essie, and this is a hard question, but out of, can you just right off the top of your head, name one of your favorite films, and what is it specifically about this film that still resonates with you today? Oh, okay. I've got a lot of favorite films. The one, uh, Apologies. Uh, 
really hard. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to say Dancer in the Dark. I think Lars von Trier is an extraordinary filmmaker. I have always loved his films. Breaking the Waves would probably be my first ever favourite, favourite, favourite film. And I think it is brilliant and extraordinary. And But Dancer in the Dark is not only brilliant and extraordinary, he writes films that are, from a female perspective, incredible, powerful stories about the woman's ability to survive and to and the gen- generosity of the female spirit. And Björk in that film is extraordinary. The world and nature of that music, the music, the fact that it's a musical with this set within this industrial kind of world, and it's a very realistic and not not a beautiful world of musical. It's not sort of fantasy. It's like a it's like a reality lived in music and dancing that is the most heart wrenching thriller and devastating story about female sacrifice. And I think it's extraordinary.